Hey crafters, welcome back to Craft 101. In this video, we'll go over how you can style your blocks. And this topic is broken up into two parts, so be sure to check out part two for additional block styling tips and features. So let's get started. I have a trip coming up to Sardinia, Italy, so I've created this dock for it. However, I would like to make certain items, certain blocks, stand out from my page. So let's start with my date here. So this is the date that I'm going, but as you can see, it's pretty basic. It's not standing out from my page. It's pretty much blending in. So let's go ahead and really style this block. So we're gonna navigate into our right sidebar in our style section. You can see that there's multiple title option sizes available here, as well as the way you want to style your content. Now, each time I hover my mouse over these buttons, you'll see the keyboard shortcut option pop up above. So you can use a keyboard shortcut if you're more advanced, but me personally, I like using the right sidebar. So let's go through each of these just to see which would work. So this is our content strong, body is what it was at originally, and caption is really, really tiny. So let's just stick with a heading size. I feel like that's a good way for it to pop off. And from here, we can make it bold if we want to. I can make it italicized. We can strike it through if, if I cancel my plans, or I can make it a code block. So, but in this case, I'm not gonna make it a code block or strike it through. I don't really like the italicized version. I'll leave it as bold. Now we do have some decorations available here too. We have the focus mode and the block mode. So the focus mode will allow it to really pop off the page with this bar here that is presented in front of the block. And the block will highlight and make that whole entire block stand out from that page. We also do have the option to select colors here. We have some standard colors presented for you right here. So if I change it, the entire block and focus decorations change into that color selected as well. However, with this drop down, I have more options available here. So let's go ahead and pick, say, this light blue color. Hmm, maybe this one, hmm, that's a little too bright. We'll stick with this light blue color. It matches the rest of my cover image here with the ocean, perfect. So if I click out of that block, we can see that now my date is really nicely represented. It's standing out of the page is exactly how I want it to look. Next, let's go into my hotel. Currently, this hotel title is pretty basic. I believe it's set on the body style, yes. So let's go ahead and make it more of a title. We can make it a subtitle or a title title itself. Let's go ahead and leave it as a subtitle for now. And instead of using the similar aspects of styling that we used for the date, we'll go ahead and use a certain color. So what I mean by that is let's highlight the block or the content within the block. And the same options pop up here that we saw in our right sidebar for convenience but I would like to highlight it. So if I select this drop down, these colors are solid, but these are our pretty ombre colors right here. So let's pick blue to purple. Perfect. And if I wanted to pop up even more, I can make it bold, but I think that's a little excessive, so we'll leave it for now. And then to add a little bit more of a division between these two categories, being the date and the hotel, let's go ahead and insert a line break block. You can select to drag and drop it into your dock, or you can just select it entirely and it'll just place it in there automatically for you. And then you can slide it around as you noticed in our first video, what it was like to slide your blocks around. Awesome. So now I have my separator, I have my date designed and my hotel standing beautifully in my document. I hope you guys enjoy designing your blocks. Don't forget to check out part two of our styling blocks video for additional styling tips and features. Happy crafting.